Most database research now is conducted by what is called a natural language search. You type in a series of relevant terms and the database gives you a set of results. But sometimes natural language searching is not enough to get you the information you need quickly and efficiently. This presentation will teach you how to use several search operators, otherwise known as terms and connectors or Boolean searching. The first thing to be aware of is that two of the most common search operators are everyday words, AND and OR, but they operate differently in searching than they do in everyday speech. For example, say you are looking for a new apartment that will house you and your dog Fido and cat Fluffy. If your landlord says you may have a dog or a cat, only one may inhabit the apartment with you, or in this case, excludes one of your two pets. However, if your landlord says you may have a dog and a cat, you, Fido and Fluffy can all enjoy your new apartment together, and includes both animals. When you look at how and behaves in a database search, it is very different. When you tell a search engine to find documents that include the terms dog and cat, the search will deliver only documents that include both of those terms and will exclude all documents that include only one of the terms. On the other hand, when you tell a search engine to find documents that include the terms dog or cat, the search will deliver documents that include both terms as well as documents that only include one of the terms. The term or is inclusive in a database search even though it is exclusionary in everyday speech. What if you want to find a specific phrase such as raining cats and dogs? In that case, you will use quotation marks around the phrase to tell the search engine you want to find these precise terms in exactly this order. Note that such a search will not return rained cats and dogs nor rains cats and dogs because you asked specifically for the term raining. While some natural language searches will return alternatives to a specific word without you asking, in terms and connector searching, you need to tell the search engine to look for those alternatives. To do this, we use something called a root expander, a symbol that you use to tell the search engine to find the root word and all of its offshoots. In Lexis and Westlaw, the symbol is an exclamation point. If you searched for dog exclamation point, your search would retrieve documents with dog, dogs, dogging, dogged, doggedly, and any other term beginning with the root term dog. These basic search tools can be extremely helpful, but what about when your terms have to have a special relationship with one another? Say you are looking for a document that talks about the effects cats and dogs have on one another when they live in the same household. If you search for cat and dog, you may well end up with a document that contains the term dog up at the top, but doesn't mention cat until the very end in an unrelated sort of way. More advanced search operators can help you find these terms when they are presented in specific relation to one another. Westlaw Next and Lexis Advance use slightly different search operators to find terms in the same paragraph, the same sentence, within a specific number of terms away from each other, or to exclude entirely documents containing certain terms. So, these searches would retrieve documents where cat and dog appear in the same paragraph, or the same sentence, or within two words of one another, or documents which contain the term cat but do not contain the term dog. Moving to a specific example in legal research, imagine you're working on an intellectual property case involving the fair use defense. Your boss calls you and says he recalls a case that has to do with companies editing popular films to make them family friendly and selling the edited versions to the public. He doesn't remember any other specifics, but wants you to find that case. If you just ran a natural language Westlaw Next search for fair use, you get 10,000 cases. If you look for the phrase fair use, it narrows down, but not really by enough since you still have over 2,000 cases to look at. A natural language search for fair use movie edit retrieves 75 cases, which is still a lot to go through. Also, some of them have to do with music, others have to do with publishing. Thinking about it further, the specific terms might not just be edit and movie, but also edits or editing and the plural form movies setting aside synonyms like cut and motion picture, which might also be helpful. 
So what if you tried your initial search for fair use and then use the narrow function to search for the more specific terms? The narrow function requires you to use search operators. You cannot do a natural language search using narrow. A search for movie exclamation point and edit exclamation point still returns over 100 cases. And you don't have a phrase to work with. You don't know if the judge wrote edited movies, movies that were edited, or movie edits. But if you think about how the two terms interact, you might come to the realization that they are likely to be in the same sentence or within a few words of one another. So if we narrow our search by movie exclamation point slash two edit exclamation point, the only result is the case your boss was looking for. A search that looks for the two terms within the same sentence brings it up as the second result. Clearly, this is only one set of search terms and operators that can retrieve the same case. You might want to try the search yourself using other logical search terms and operators to see how these powerful tools can help you find exactly what you need. In Lexis Advance, you can find a reference guide to their search operators by looking under search tips and connectors. Knowing what we know now, we can do a terms and connectors search for the phrase fair use and movie exclamation point slash s edit exclamation point. The case we want is the first presented.